Epcot is the best theme park. From World Showcase, where you get to explore many countries from around the world, to the f to the history of Future World and all the new expansions coming to that side of the park, Epcot is the best park and best theme park. You might not agree with the changes coming to Epcot, but there is a lot. So in the last year, let's go from June 2022 to June 2021, there has been Remy's Ratatouille Adventure, Space 220, Creation Shop, Connections Cafe, Guardians of the Galaxy, Cosmic Rewind, all these new things. And and we're not even counting how much new stuff is coming after because of the new thing and stuff that is put on hold. Hopefully the Mary Poppins ride and the Pipe Pavilion might come. We don't know yet, but it could happen. And I think that if you are going to want to spend as much time in a park, it should be Epcot. Epcot has the most changes and every single couple months you go, there will be something new until end of 2023 because that's when this expansion is probably going to be finished or early 2024. But I, and oh, maybe they'll announce more stuff at D23 this year. But I think that this park has the most changes coming to it. And it's not even me thinking it. I have an opinion. It's an actual fact because the most stuff in Disney parks right now is coming to Epcot because of the expansion and the and the transformation and everything having to do with what they announced D23 around a couple years ago in 2017. <laughs> If you haven't been to Epcot at night, especially in World Showcase, you're missing out. From the lights on the main buildings for each pavilion in World Showcase to the fire burning in the lights that go all the way around World Showcase with the fireworks show, with the barges harmonious, everything has and then with the with the new all new lighting effects on Spaceship Earth, it, it's 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 insane. They have so much lighting in that park but so little lighting at the same time that get, builds atmosphere and all this stuff comes together to make a perfect nighttime park. And I don't understand why Epcot isn't open later. I know it's we're still coming out of COVID, so I, I understand, but once COVID's like completely over, they need to keep Epcot open to 11 and extra extra magic hours to like 12 or one because with all the new stuff, with the lighting on the monorail, all this stuff, this park needs to be open later. Fireworks. There has been th around three f uh, three fireworks shows that I know of. I know there was a lot more earlier, but three main shows. Illuminations. Well, it was Illumination, Illumination, Reflections of Earth, and it was Epcot Forever. Now it's Harmonious. There was a lot of smaller ones and a lot of bigger, bigger ones that I don't really know of. And that's from, like, when it first opened to, like, 2000. That, that area, I don't know much about the fireworks. But all I know is Illuminations. I saw all three of these. Well, Harmonious, I will see next. Um, I will say, see next week when I'm in when I'm in Florida. But I will. But I've seen Illuminations, Reflections of Earth, a couple of years ago. Really good show. Epcot Forever. I know a lot of people hate on Epcot Forever because it feels like a cheap show. I really like Epcot Forever. It has a perfect blend of music with classic Epcot to video to audio clips of Walt and all this history. And then Harmonious brings together like cultures and stuff. And they also had Harmonious Live. On June 21st, which I've, I watched live, and I watched the resort TV live stream afterwards, and saw how much it goes into this, how much Epcot looked like a whole movie st studio. It had like all these cranes and stuff. I got to see celebrities walking out. I really love the fireworks shows. Harmonious, I hopefully is good. The one thing I don't like about the um, Harmonious is the barges, but if the fireworks show makes up for it, I will won't be that mad about it because the barges kind of block the view across World Showcase Lagoon. But if the fire if Harmonious is good, like I said before, it does. Make Make up for it so i will be telling you my review of it um next week probably well not next week like it starts like the first episode will be well, third episode will be epcot so um i you'll see that in that episode you might argue that every single park has fan favorite rides from animal kingdom having exhibition Everest and dinosaur tower tower terror and hollywood studios and rock and roller coaster Magic Kingdom by Space Mountain, Big Thunder Mountain, Splash Mountain, all the classics. But Epcot does have a lot of fan favorite rides. You know, you got Test Track, Soarin, New Gardens of the Galaxy Concert Rewind that I don't know if it's good or not yet. It's probably going to be good because it's a roller coaster because I haven't seen any videos on it yet because it opened a month before I'm going to Disney, so there's no point watching it until I can go there and experience it for myself like, without having to see it in, in between a, a camera first because it's it would kind of um dumb down the experience a little bit but it also has spaceship earth which is a classic mission space is all right and the journey to imagination is all right but then you have the entire aquarium you have frozen ever after Remy's drive to adventure you have a lot of classic rides that 
A classic rides. But you have a lot of good rides that fit in with the park. You can argue about Guardians of the Galaxy, but I think Epcot needed a roller coaster at some point. Epcot is the best park. I think so. Maybe you do too. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be trying to... There will be a news video coming out Sunday. Maybe another video this week before then. There will be probably one video next week. I can't make videos next week because I will be in Disney. I keep saying this, but I will be. Um... At the end of this video, I'm going to be playing the Destination Disney Vlogs trailer that I posted. I, I, I knew it wasn't going to get that much views because it doesn't have a, a cool thumbnail and a nice title. But I made the trailer for this vlog series and I hope you enjoy it when, it, when the vlog series comes out in Disney. I, um, my, I will also be making a checklist for Disney World for me video. I don't expect that one to get that much views either, but I just think that people, sh I, I just want to make a video on it. And my goal is to, by the time, next time I'm going to Disney, not this time, next time after that, to at least have a thousand subscribers so I can spend some time live streaming in Disney. I've In every single channel I've had, I've tried to get to a thousand subscribers so I can live stream but this is like a channel where if I if I if I want to live stream in the middle of in the middle of the parks, I, I can live stream in the middle of the parks because it has it has to do with my channel, so I don't have to worry about making a whole trailer and everything about it. I can just make a live stream, say I'm in the park, show you a bunch of stuff, and then end it. I don't have to talk about all this stuff beforehand. So I think we should get to a thousand subscribers. It's a lot more work than it sounds. And I've got to twenty seven already. My videos get a lot more views than my subscribers, so if you guys are watching and you're not subscribed, please. I, I, I should really say subscribe a lot more during my videos. I don't say that that much. I don't mention it in my videos. I just talk about what's going on in the video. I don't try to drag it out too long. Well, some of my videos are like, this video is seven minutes long, probably eight. Yeah, eight or nine because of the trailer at the end of the video and the end card. But I think... I keep saying I think. Subscribe to the channel. I just slammed out my bed. Subscribe to the channel. Um, because all this work needs to be put in so I can get some subscribers, get some views, make some videos, have some fun, talk about Disney, and eventually work at Disney. So, see you guys in the next video. I'll be playing the trailer now. Thank you.